Everybody knows how to solve a system of equations with two variables. But what if I have another one? How about that? One system of equations, three unknown numbers. It seems impossible. But there is a superb way to solve this in a moment. Look closely to the first equation. What's wrong with him? In my opinion, variable c is begging us to express him. So, let's try. c equals to 100 minus a times b, of course. And then everything is classic. Let's put this equation to the second equation of our system. So, we have b times 100 minus a b plus a and it equals to 101. Seems messy. Let's multiply b and 100 minus a b. We're gonna have 100 b minus a times b squared plus a and it equals to 101. And here is a very important moment. Lots of students approach this moment of solution, but from this point most of them don't know what to do next, what to do. And here is a very interesting trick that misses most of students. Let's try to write 101 like 100 plus 1. So, our equation we can write like 100b minus ab squared plus a minus 100 and it equals to 1. Or we can write it like 100 times b minus 1 minus a times b squared minus 1 and it equals to 1. b squared minus 1 equals to b minus 1 times b plus 1. So, we can put b minus 1 in first bracket and in second bracket we have 100 minus a times b plus 1 and it's all equals to 1. Very interesting. I must confess that we have to solve this equation in whole numbers because we have to find the whole number solution for this system. And we can really see that this equation in left side is a product of two whole numbers and their product is equals to 1. This means that each of these numbers can be 1 or minus 1. So, from this moment we have two different cases, like b minus 1 equals to 1 and 100 minus a times b plus 1 equals to 1. And another system, b minus 1 equals to minus 1 and 100 minus a times b plus 1 equals to minus 1. These two systems are really simple. We can find that b equals to 2, putting it into second equation we can find that 3a equals to 99 and a equals to 33. And remembering that c equals to 100 minus ab, we find that c equals to 100 minus 2 times 33 and it equals to 34. The first decision of our system a 33, b 2, c 34. And second solution is much more simple b equals to 0. That's why a equals to 101 and c equals to 100 minus a times b and b equals to 0. So, it's minus 0 and it equals to 100. So, second triangle of our decisions a 101, b 0 and c 100. Two triangles of numbers. So, guys, you can see that some methods don't get old. Expressing variable from first equation and putting it into second and then try to show attentiveness and a little bit creativity. I hope that you enjoyed looking this video, guys, and remember that I want to see you in the next one.